what I wanted to share today, what's really been, God's been speaking into my life is Proverbs 16.9, is a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Yes. And so I'm going to tell you, I love to plan. When I was 13 years old, right before I went into high school, I had my life figured out. I had my SAT books in my drawer. I, was, I knew I was going to be the valedictorian of my school. I was going to go to Stanford. I was going to play volleyball. I was going to major in film. I was going to get my first Oscar at the age of 27. I was going to get married at 28. And then I was going to have my first kid at 30. <laughs> now that I so you heard a little bit about my plan for my life. And so now I'm going to take you through a quick journey of what God's plan was for my life. And so we're going to start it when I was five years old. When I was five years old, I was in kindergarten at Milani Wayana, and a jump rope team came to my school. And I remember sitting there in the first row, and I was watching them going, wow, they're so cool. They can do crisscrosses, and they can do double lunders. And I went home and said, Mom, I want to be a jump roper, a jump roper of all things. And luckily, God gave me parents that said, okay, Lauren, go for it and jump rope. Another thing happened when I was five years old. My television broke. And then a week later, our truck broke. And we were stuck with, do you fix the TV or do you fix the truck? Which one do you think my parents picked? The truck. You got it. And after six months, my, my mom said, you know what, your brother, you and your brother, you're doing puzzles. You're playing basketball together. We don't need a TV. So instead, I was going to the library, borrowing books. I got really into sewing, and I did sports. And so when I went to UH, I decided to walk on. I don't know. It only could have been a God thing. I walked onto the UH Wahine water polo team, and I made the team. And so I was a D1 collegiate athlete. I played about a minute and a half my entire four years. <laughs> so obviously, God didn't put me there to be one of the star players. But I learned a lot from that. And then when I was in college, I also was, I decided to major in film, and I had a documentary class. And we had to make a documentary about something in Hawaii, and people were doing surfing or hula. My roommate at UH had just given away her Miss West Oahu crown for the Miss Hawaii pageant. So this is a, I was a tomboy, never wore high heels or makeup. I played water polo. I was a good 45 pounds heavier of like brute strength, promise. And I told my teacher, I'm going to do it on the Miss Hawaii pageant. She goes, Lauren, I love it. Do it. Called my roommate. A week and a half later, there was a preliminary Miss Alamoana. I entered. I was contestant number one. No idea what I was doing. They go, do you have a talent? I went, um, I, I jump rope. <laughs> Does that? <laughs> they go, OK, well, we'll see how that works out. My left eye teared the entire pageant because I wasn't used to the makeup. I was just crying the whole time. People thought I probably was really into it, really emotional. But when they said, our Miss Alamoana is, and they said, Lauren Cheap, and I went, are they joking? Do they know what they just did? My crowning moment, I stuck my tongue out because I was laughing so hard. And I got thrown into Miss Hawaii, and I realized that was God's path for my life. Did I win that first year? No. It took me four years four years to win Miss Hawaii. And my encouragement to you is, oh. I give it up in three weeks. I'll be a former. I'll be nobody in three weeks. But, um, and then I went to Miss America. And the funny thing for me is God really spoke in my life. What do we have? Oh, we have photos up there. Um, God really spoke to my life going, we know he has a sense of humor. He took the five foot two, I know you can't tell in my beautiful high heels, but I'm five foot two, and put me on a division one collegiate water polo team. Doesn't make sense. Then he took the girl who grew up with no television and put her in the film school. Also doesn't make sense. Girl who wore no makeup or high heels and made her Miss Hawaii. And then I went to Miss America. I was the first person in 90 years to ever jump rope for their talent. Thank you. <laughs> I was contestant number one out of 53, which if you don't know, which most people shouldn't, it's a spot of death. You do not want to be contestant number one. I messed up twice in my routine, and I won talent at Miss America, jump roping. And so, but the great thing is I feel like God gave me a message because a lot of times when he tells us to go somewhere, we go, you know what, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not, I don't have the skills. 
And I caught myself when I first ran for Miss Hawaii going, I can't sing to save my life. I don't play the piano. I jump rope on my butt, really. And God can use any of our talents. If he can use jump rope, he can use anything we have. And I feel a lot of times we just go, but I'm not qualified, but we are. And so now, obviously I didn't win Miss America because I'm standing in front of you today. And on the way, it was a huge letdown. After four years of your life, you go, you know, I thought it was your plan for me to be Miss America. And on the way home, I prayed, and I felt God spoke so clearly to me, going, no, Lauren, I have prepared you. You've spent the last four years of your life serving your community. You've been speaking in front of people, and you've been making a difference in the lives of those around you. I have prepared you for a life of public office. And I went, what do I know? I'm a film major. Obviously, it takes me a while to learn. But he goes, you know what, Lauren? You know what? Go now. I said, maybe in four years. He goes, no, run now. So I'll be running for House of Representatives this year. Yes. 